All right, we got some haunted artifacts. <laughs> so let's talk about haunted artifacts around the world. Now, of course, we have to start with a couple of them that are very famous because they keep making um, movies that almost pass the bar with them. Um, who is this, everybody? Who are these Chucky's. two beautiful things? Uh, uh, well, it says I, it right there. We have Robert the doll and the doll called Annabelle. They're next to each other. Now, a lot of people didn't know, know, did not know that Annabelle, I don't know, a lot of people probably know now, it was actually a Raggedy Ann doll, but probably for uh, copyright things, they didn't want to put her in the movie, The Conjuring. I, I was going to say, when I grew up, she was Raggedy Ann. I was going to say, what is Raggedy Ann doing on here? Yeah, okay. Raggedy Ann yep. and Raggedy Andy. So, so Robert is actually a doll that is 111 years old, and he's at the Fort East Martello Museum in Key West, Florida. He was originally owned by Robert Jean Otto, who was an artist, and his grandfather gifted him the doll after buying it in Germany. Now, Otto kept the doll into adulthood, creeping him out because he took it everywhere with him as an adult. Okay. <laughs> now, when Otto was young, he would blame things on the doll because he had a problem with accountability. And um, other... Others who would rather laugh it off when he was a kid, but as when he was adult, they were like, "That's just weird." And he lived in an art a house he called the artist house, where uh, Robert was positioned in an upstairs window looking out at people. Uh, school children would say that they would see him appear and disappear, and they avoided the house. So um, <laughs> later on, this lady uh, Myrtle Reuter bought the artist house after he died in 1974, and it came with the doll. Because, you know, oh, wow. it's a, wow. yeah, it's, you know, house flippers didn't move that. So, um, <laughs> wow. Visitors said they would hear footsteps in the attic and giggling. And some of Robert's ex said that Robert's expression changed if anyone bad mouthed Otto while they were in the house. Wow. And so, uh, Reuter said that Robert would move around the house on his own. And after 20 years, she said, fuck this and donated him to the museum, uh, in Key West, uh, in 1994. Now, Annabelle, however, is named after the girl that claimed to possess it. I don't have this much information on the rest of the slides, so bear with me on this one. Um, the famous Warren's Occult Museum acquired the doll in the early 1970s from a woman who said that her roommate and her noticed the doll would move around the house itself. They would find notes that said help around it, and they once found it covered in a red substance when they came in. And oh, there was wow. a medium, yeah, a medium told them that was uh, inhabited by a girl that was killed in their building. Now, Ooh. apparently... They had enough of it when a friend of theirs who voiced concern about the doll was attacked and killed while the women were away one night. So in the house, oh, a friend nice. of theirs was attacked and killed. They believe it was the doll that did it. I mean, I don't know if they can prove that, but hey, that's what they think. Wow. These are, yeah, two of the most famous, uh, famous haunted artifacts right here. We're starting with those. Why? Because we wanted to bring you after this ones you may not have heard of as much. Maybe wow, you she was just Raggedy Ann when I was growing up. I had no idea, yeah. and, and we all and we all wanted one. So I guess not. Thank goodness. <laughs> yeah, seriously. <laughs> With this story, it makes me like look at her differently. Like it almost looks like that triangle nose is just someone cut out her nose, and you can see the flesh underneath. Okay. You know what's well, crazy? They actually handle her with gloves. They won't actually directly touch her. Like uh, the it was left with the Warren estate, so her son is the one that's like. Uh, operating the museum, but he refuses to actually touch her. He will only handle her with gloves, and he has to like put sage and pray on it and holy water before he even bothers opening that thing. Wow. Uh, yeah. Uh. Now, if you thought those dolls are neat, I actually think the next doll is more impressive. Yes, I did another doll. <laughs> this is the Cracking Man. Let's talk about the Cracking Man. So, he's at the Traveling Museum of the Paranormal and the Occult. There was a Chicago house flipper who found him in a suburban home. The clown was wrapped in a painting of himself. And after wow. taking it home, she would hear popping sounds all over the home and it gave her insomnia. Wow. Yeah. So one, yep. One <laughs> night she says she awoke to a disfigured human-like figure in her bedroom. Woo. And as she recoiled in fear, it did as well. And she said <laughs> she could hear the popping noise coming from its body as if it was coming from its ligaments and bones. So she freaked the fuck out, right. and she gave the mu the doll to the museum right away. And the owners of this museum, the uh, traveling museum of the paranormal, quote, say that they can actually hear the popping as well if you're in the same room. Wow! Screw that. <laughs> but it's got to be funny that like she recoiled and it recoiled. Like you know, that's got to tell us a lot 
you know, about what the paranormal, because like, because I'm sure in the paranormal world, we're the weirdos and in our world, they're the weirdos. And so, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. I'm just thinking about it. Um, but that's that funny. Me, that reminds me of that movie with Nicole Kidman. Was it called The Others? Where yeah, they, the others, they didn't yeah. realize that they were dead and they were the ones that they were the ghosts instead they thought Spo- they spoiler were Spoiler alert. Ghosts. Spoiler alert. I was going to say, for those of us who still might have had it on our list. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. It's decades old, okay? If you haven't seen the movie, then that's on you. <laughs> that's on you. Anyway. Because <laughs> it seemed like a good one. It seemed like a good one. It seemed like one I might have had the nerve to watch in another, you know, five years or so with the joint. Got it. You like it, good one. <laughs> I get it just to be yeah, see it. It's like, what? It's like, what, 20 years old, Dina? Come on. It's not 20 years old because no. I've been out here for 20 years. It didn't come out when I got here. I, I don't think it's 15, 20 years old. Right? It's definitely not. <laughs> I know that. Because it was, cause it, because you know what? I, I respected it. The only reason I was interested in it because it, it, it just, based on what I heard, and then there, anytime anything gets a lot of parody, like at what Saturday Night Live or wherever, then you know that there's a solid story there. So I was like, this one might. Came out in two thousand one. Okay. Thank you. Could oh. you imagine if if she sure. sees this figure at her bed, <laughs> and the figure is actually a real big jerk, and it just looks at her and goes, "You should wear makeup to bed, also." <laughs> um. So, anyway, I know Very. that's harsh. It's probably a horror uh, movie for someone. Yeah. That bad. Like my ex boyfriend. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. Bad. 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 <laughs> All right. This next one. What does that what look like? That? What is this thing? It is it the looks goddess like, of death. It looks like a very bad gingerbread cookie. It looks like a penis, like turned upside down. <laughs> she said it first, folks. Right, yeah, right. It because first. that, because then, because also, because you know, yeah, that's what it looks like. It looks like a penis with a lot going on on the other end at the bottom, like a like a like a you know like an upright base with. A penis for this stem. So it's like a you gingerbread a phallus thing. object. Right. I want to say the word in consideration of Dana to be respectful and mindful. Mindful, and I think Dana said the word penis like six or seven times. <laughs> right. Well, because I don't have a. I have, here's the thing. So if again, you guys, I love it. I'll, you guys always have these interesting ideas about me. I have a bigger problem with dick than penis. Do you know what I'm saying? Like because a penis is actually what it is. If we're, you know. Yep. I, I, the nuance, and I'm not saying that those other types of jokes aren't funny, but you know, in our world of comedy, we certainly get tired of those type of jokes. But penis is just the word; it's it's, it's actually what it is. So yeah, I'll Wait, leave it. Are we that. are we telling me that the pioneer chicken sign behind me didn't make anyone think of cock? Oh um, my lord! No, you pervert. Oh okay, never <laughs> yeah. mind then. I didn't even like yeah. <laughs> Do you eat the roosters? Would you ever know? Um, anyway, um, so this is at the Scottish, uh, the Royal Scottish Museum. It's a limestone statue from 3,500 BC. Did you hear that, Amy Coney Barrett? The world is older than you think. Anyway, um, each family that had this statue has been torn apart by death. <gasps> I thought they were impaled. Anyway, um, the first family to own it had seven people die within six years in unexpected ways. The second owner and his family all died within four years. Then the statue seemed to disappear for a few years, either that or they lost track of it, until found by a third family, who also saw several members die in the family. The final two family members said, screw it, we're taking this to a museum, let them die. Right. (laughs) I like how every time something's really bad or haunted, people are like, I'm just taking it to a museum. (laughs) Yeah, they know what to do. We're in a museum right now, Dan. Do you think something's just going to come up and kill us? That's actually, well, we're, we're hoping that something freaks us out later. When we have Steve on the show, I'm freak you out! I get scared of this. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm cool. I, I'm waiting to be freaked out, yo. <laughs> you guys, apparently, happen. there is a Spectrum ad that puts a hologram in your home. Like, there's this thing. Like, um, I saw a good, an old friend, good friend. Um, she was posting on um, Instagram, and apparently, like, when she it was, I don't know what she was setting up. I'd have to go back. But she was setting up something through Spectrum, and it, like, when she, I guess, turned on the setup, this hologram appears in her home to help her with it. And she was like, oh, like, I mean, she was just like, it almost got knocked the, out. Because, you know, it was, she didn't, she wasn't aware that this is what was about to happen. And I was like, yeah, no, on any type of hologram when I'm just looking for some setup instructions. <laughs> did you nope. hear what Kanye did? 
Kanye, Kanye oh. West. Oh, okay. Uh, oh. He got a hologram of Kim Kardashian's dad, Robert Kardashian, to wish her a happy birthday. Oh, that well, is that's, so creepy. That's pretty creepy, to tell you the truth, yes. I mean, well, I mean he, he's that, trying to be nice. I was, yeah. I, I, I get it on the one. I mean, because that's that's a big imagination. I'm not saying that I would necessarily be in love with it if it, you know, if the shoes, the tables were turned. But I mean, one of the first places we saw like the big hologram possibilities was like a, a few years ago at Coachella. Uh, El was on Elvis, stage. right? No, Elvis? well, there's the there's the, the Tupac hologram oh, that they had uh, on stage with Snoop at Coachella. So I'm yeah. just saying, like, it's not. I think if you know, obviously Kanye has the means. I think again, it's I, I'm not sure if it, if I were Kim that I would be okay with it either but i'm just saying like mm, you know i get it that, that much money that much imagination not much to do no that's, that's a rest like that's a recipe for some interesting stuff dude did he get uh, if it was earlier you got robin williams to do the voice you know like oh hello how are you i'm your dad again look at me i'm well, alive still he got oh somebody to Lord. do the voice like i don't know if he got a voiceover person or if he got old footage i don't know but he made it sound like he was wishing her a birth like a what? 40th birthday wow. right now if his heart if his heart's in the right place you know i mean nothing yeah not i was like it's hard you know. for me to be real uh, mad about it like i i i can't promise that i would be the one to be a great recipient <laughs> but i can see where like i could just see where in a mind that is dealing you know like that that's a good idea like this is something that's could work but it's I don't not know. him it's a manipulated i don't know that's just weird that's All right. weird well if you think that's weird what do you think of this the restless <laughs> painting i think whoever bought that is an idiot and they overpaid <laughs> This is also at the Traveling Museum of the Paranormal Occult, and this is a framed portrait of a girl who is not, this is not even the original painting. This is a print of the painting, and it's claimed that wherever it is hung, it will randomly fall off the wall or cause the pictures around it to fall off the wall. Does it not look, though, like she's blaming the cat for doing it? Is that yeah, it does. that way. Oh, God, she's like, the like cat did it. The cat is a ghost. Her arms are weird. Yeah. She get, yeah, she got those freak arms, y'all. I can say that because she's not real. <laughs> anyway, but I, I think, you know, that's all we got, unless, you know, I think that's that's it. That's what we got to say about that one. That one has the shortest thing. This next one, Stacy said I should look this up, so I looked it up. <gasps> this is the Dubuque box. This is owned by Zach Baggins of Ghost what Adventures. Is that? Well, it, this is the famous wine box allegedly possessed by a Dubuque. I think I'm saying that right or wrong. An demon, evil demon, demon from yeah. Jewish mythology, much like Hasetan. Um, the man who originally owned it said it got, he got it from a Holocaust survivor. Just a Holocaust survivor. Like, hey, you a Holocaust survivor? Hey, give me this thing. Anyway, <laughs> and then he claimed it caused him horrible nightmares and strange activity in his home. So basically one time on Ghost Adventures, Zach and the human Etch-A-Sketch Post Malone uh, claims that when they opened the cover to this box, this this plastic cover, they heard a little girl's voice and felt a force that made them flee. Post Malone then claimed to see a dark figure outside of that, that building, and the next day found a bruise on his arm. Ooh. Mm. Uh. Yeah. Or he just forgot that he fell and got another face tattoo. Um, <laughs> but this was the one that Stacy brought to my attention. I have not seen, I you know, I guess I did not see that did episode it? of Ghost Adventures. So. I think he almost uh, had a, his plane almost crashed, if I remember, like a week after, and then he got robbed or something. Like, he goes, he went on the Joe Rogan podcast, like, there was TMZ articles about it, but he actually went on the Joe Rogan podcast to talk about it, and he was pretty freaked out. Like, I was like, Ooh. So do you think when Post Malone gets freaked out, he actually still sounds apathetic? <laughs> I saw a box and it scared the shit out of me. I oh, there was a bruise sense. on my arm. <laughs> oh boy! <laughs> I know he's gonna he's gonna hate me for that one. Post Malone jokes. One day he'll sue me. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I don't got nothing, Post Malone. You got all the money. Yeah, oh, that's funny. Here is our final one. Oh boy! The crone. This is the final one we're talking about. This is also at the Traveling Museum of the Paranormal Occult. But they don't have it there anymore because it freaked them out too much. I don't know. It looks like it what has obstruction, obstructions in its eyes. I don't so know how, there's, how it can see. 
Yeah, a pair of hikers found this in the Catskills, and it has, it's a wooden figure with three nails in each eye and a noose around its neck. Oh. They found it in a cave, and the hikers took it home, and suddenly weird things started to happen. Objects moved around, sinks randomly turned on, the stench of stagnant pond water filled their apartment. They also noticed unexplained wet footprints all around the house. Oh, I think that sounds like somebody used too much shower water and didn't want to admit it to the other. That's, no, I don't know why the bill's so high. <laughs> but, like, I, like, there's just certain things that if I find it in the wood, it is not fucking coming to my house. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, that's like, what I'm we just, told I'm like, just all things real. I mean, and here's the thing. It, it, you know, I, without, you know, I have to say it. Obviously, I'm here. Like, Anything with a noose around its neck. Come on. If you're black, we're not bringing that home. Like, that's just, that's just a fact. You're not like, and, th and then, and then to add, there are nails in the eyes. Like, I just, yeah, like, we're not doing that. <laughs> I wouldn't even have picked it up. I'd have looked at him and like, ah, oh, okay, right. Cool. <laughs> it, the, the chances of me touching it are zero. Yeah, I'm not well, the that. the final straw for this this people in the apartment because that wasn't it. You know, they were okay <laughs> with everything else, right. but the final straw was when they came home one evening to find an apparition of a drenched, naked old woman standing in their living room, staring back at them. Yeah, and like, so they Say fled that the again, home. Naked old women, what? Yeah, a drenched, naked old woman. Women, I, I, wo woman. I think that um, really they just came home and someone was like, "I need a shower." <laughs> Sounds I, like that uh, ghost shower. from the shine from the shining. That yeah. one when they when they go in the room and that old lady with all the yeah. Wow. But uh yeah, they fled the home and then later returned in the day and gave it to the museum. Now the museum owners noticed the same act activity in their home, including the wet fingerprint the wet footprints, sorry. But at one time a Jesus, a plastic Jesus on a crucifix was ripped off and thrown on the floor with the cross still on the wall. So I guess they had no problem with the cross. They were just like, Gee, Jesus looks like he's hurt up there. Get him off. And then um, once at the unveiling of the figure, a woman dropped. <sighs> they unveiled the figure. A woman dropped her glass. Light started flickering. And another guest went into a seizure. Now, I'm pretty sure. I, I don't know. Maybe the lights flickering had something to do with that. Maybe it was this thing. <laughs> <laughs> But they also claim that two men who mocked the figure at the unveiling resumed to do so on their ride home and got into a near-fatal accident. So the museum's owners are so convinced of the power of this artifact that they have planned to return it to the Catskills. They keep it locked up, and they're going to take it back and find a cave and just go, you be someone else's problem in 10 years. I was going to well. say, like, I think they should burn it at this, like, I mean, I don't know. This just If it's wooden, why can't we just burn it? You know what's yeah. crazy though? A majority of these uh, items that we actually mention, it's always a backstory of somebody mocking it and people dying or getting hurt. Like Robert the doll, somebody had mocked it and that right. is why they said that they got hurt. Uh, Annabelle, somebody had mocked her and they were in a motorcycle accident and died. Um, the Dibuki box, somebody had mocked it and they <laughs> almost died, I think. Um, it's just a common thing. So Dan, if you mock anything in here, yeah, don't mock Take anything. <laughs> Wait. Oh my gosh, now I know why my sister's Cabbage Batch doll cut tried to kill me. Uh -oh. oh my lord. Oh man. I was like, you're going to be in the closet for the next 15 years. She's a teenager now. <laughs> um, so. Oh my lord. But that is our <laughs> segment, and I'm trying to get back to the thing where I don't share this awkward screen. Look at that. Doesn't creep you out. Wow. <laughs> <laughs>